Hi, I'm Erin. I'm Daniel. We're in the biodome and we are checking out one of our favorite plants, the Miracle Fruit Tree. And this is it behind us here. It's in the biodome. It's been in this spot for probably about 10 years now and it is doing very well. It is. Why is it doing so well, Daniel? Uh, it's sheltered, so mm. it gets the heat and the warmth during winter. Uh, it has the right amount of shade and has nice acidic soil that's that's free draining mm. and so all of those things combined it's growing a nice beautiful open tree that's mm. absolutely full of flowers yeah it's a it's a really special tree it is a small yes. tree it can <laughs> it can get up to four to six meters this one here behind us 10 years old it is only three meters so it is a really manageable yeah. tree and it very is slow growers slow growing slow absolutely growers. so yeah. don't expect any boom with this tree it's, it's patience <laughs> Practice your patience with this one. Yeah. So here in the biodome, in these perfect conditions that we have, it is cropping and at the moment it is flowering yeah. prolifically. There are, there are so many flowers that are coming out on this tree and there's even some unripe fruits that are forming. Daniel has actually just picked a crop off this tree and did. how many fruits did you collect? About a hundred. hundred. Yeah. Excellent. They were very yummy. <laughs> Everyone enjoyed them. <laughs> and we like to eat them fresh. Yeah, so eat them fresh, fresh and is best. Um, yeah, enjoy the, the sensation, how it changes your taste buds. Mm. It's incredible. Because that is what it is really well yeah. known for, changing yeah. the, the taste buds, the flavors in your mouth. So the main one that it affects is sour. Yeah, definitely huge difference in sour foods so the miracle fruit tree give it shade give it warmth do do not let it get frosted it does not like no. frost at all so keep it warm give it acidic soil give it lots of moisture and free draining conditions and you'll have a beautiful tree yeah. just like we do okay daniel now we have another specimen of miracle fruit and this is this one behind us it's in a really completely different zone how would you describe this location not the best <laughs> what so, makes you say that <laughs> it gets a bit of frost here mm. um that has led to as you can see it's much more bushier um the frost has it's almost like pruning it every year and then it's coming back being pruned coming back Mm. So the frost has damaged it. Yeah. Um, doesn't have as acidic soil, and it cops a lot more sun. So, come summer, this will probably get a bit sunburned. It does get sunburned, yeah. and you you want to try and avoid that. So you do want to grow yeah. the miracle fruit in a shady position where possible, and the soil conditions. Sub acid. Sub acid, and explain yeah. that. What does sub acid mean? So we're getting below below six, below 5.5. Miracle fruit really likes around a five, so we're in blueberry territory. Yeah. Um, so if you're good at growing yeah. blueberries, you will be very good at growing yes. miracle fruit <laughs> as well. So put them together, they'll be very happy. Yeah. yeah. And another thing about this tree, it isn't it isn't producing any flowers, it isn't fruiting. And uh, as you saw, we have our other plant, and it is quite happily producing lots of flowers yeah. and lots of fruit at the moment. So conditions matter you want to give every plant the best condition that you can uh, yeah with the one that it thrives in the warmth the shade mm. and the acid free draining soil yeah absolutely and it'll thrive yeah and you'll have lots of miracle fruits to choose and yeah. try and share with your <laughs> friends and have lots of fun experiments with yes flavor tripping let's try this tasting experiment let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the miracle fruit berry here and it is a small red berry a torpedo like shape you can see there and it does have a large seed on the inside mm. so daniel's chomping on one how would you describe the flavor daniel it's yummy mm. sweet it's almost yeah. like a classic berry taste but very pleasant it's nice mm. Mm. we're gonna try some different flavors now and yeah. see and see what effect they have so daniel you got something that is traditionally known as being quite sour oh yes although they can get sweeter with age but however yeah, this, this one <laughs> this one is the yellow mangosteen of course yeah. and it has a sourness to it yeah a pleasant they are sourness. Yummy, yeah i like yeah, them they are quite sour mm. though <laughs> yeah so have a go. What do you? I'm kind so, of scared. Okay. <laughs> so he's had the miracle fruit, and now he's going to okay. eat the yellow mango seed. Yum. It looks yeah. like a really ripe one. Beautiful. That's really nice. Mm. That's not sour at all. <laughs> How would you describe that that flavour now? 
I don't know, it's very tropical. Mm, beautiful. It almost very looks nice. like a mango from yeah. here. So Yeah, normally I cannot eat these. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, it's these, a this winner. Is quite it's an absolute winner on the sour. So yeah. another flavour that we've got is is some crackers. So this is a salty mm. flavour. Um let's have a go. How's that? Mm. Any change? Not not salty. I think it's dropped that saltiness off the cracker itself. I was eating yeah, wow. some of these before and and uh, I, I was getting that salt, but now... Plain cracker. Plain cracker. Try bitter. Mmm, bitter. We've got something extremely bitter to try. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Another African plant. We've got some yeah. bitter leaf. And we chomped a little bit of this earlier and it is indeed very bitter, yeah. but tasty. Usually okay. you put it in soups and stews. We're eating it raw too. Let's go. Go. <laughs> mm. Mm. Um, still a bit I'm bitter. still getting bitter. Yeah. So mostly the effect is going to be on sour, yeah. a little bit on salty and less so on bitter mm. as we've discovered here today in yeah. our epic research project. That is the miracle fruit. It is a beautiful tree, a beautiful it fruit. Is. Really, it's a really fun fruit to grow. So your kids will enjoy having a play with oh, this yeah. one as well. Everyone, so, everyone enjoys the miracle yeah. fruit. It's, yeah. it's, it's one Never of those special uh, fruits. No, <laughs> we've had fun with it today. Yeah. So enjoy, give it a go and happy gardening.